Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching all that stuff. I appreciate it. Hope your day is going well. I am playing around in Luminar today. I'm in Luminar Flex, but it's the same in Luminar 3 or Luminar 2018. And I don't know about Luminar 4 yet, uh, but it'll probably be similar, if not uh, about the same. Uh, this is going to be a workflow video showing off how I do exposure blends in Luminar. I did a video a couple weeks ago. I'll put a link up there. And that was a quick and easy exposure blend where I took the top of one photo and just dropped it on top of another uh, photo with a different bottom, if you will. Blended it together with some filters and made it look like it belonged together. Uh, and truthfully, exposure blending is not hard. It just requires layers and some masking and some patience, to be honest. And uh, I thought this video, I could do a bit more advanced version of an exposure blend to show how I create a photo that's seemingly kind of boring and turn it into something that's much more impactful. So here's the photo. That's my base image. I'm just using JPEGs here. And after some uh, quite a bit of work, I should say, um, I turn it into that. So we're talking multiple layers, a new sky, filters, a preset, all kinds of stuff. Let's get started. Um, now, real quick, exposure blends. Basically, you, what, what you're doing is you're stacking layers and you're brushing in or masking in uh, parts of the top layer onto the, uh, the the base layer, if you will. And a lot of landscape pho uh, photographers do this. They want to take one sky and, and you know, from the same scene, same settings, etc., and blend it in with um, a, a different exposure for the bottom, for example. I'm going to do something similar to that. I'm going to start with this image. I'm going to say add new image layer. I'm going to go get this darker version. This was a bracket set that I shot in Oregon. So I like some aspects of both photos. If I turn this off, I really like the brighter sand here. I like some of the grass, but it's a little bit bright and that grass is a little too dark. So all I'm gonna do is just brush mask some of the parts in. So I'm gonna grab the brush. I'm gonna say brush. Uh, I'm gonna be on paint and my opacity is at 50. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, I might, yeah, I think I'll leave it at 50. So I'm just gonna brush in this sky at 50 and there we go. Quick and easy, I mean very simple. I took a lower opacity brush. I like the sky in the other one but it was too dark so that, that's why I went with 50% opacity. And now I think I'll lower the opacity a little bit more, let's say to 40. And I'm gonna reduce the size of it and I'm gonna brush it into the grass a little bit. So I'm kinda capturing some of that grass and a little bit of that sand. Um, and let me show you the mask. So there you go. You can see what I've done. Now it's not perfect and I'm not trying to tell you, hey, this is gonna be perfect. I'm showing you how I do it because, uh, so I want you to pay more attention to uh, the details when you're working on your own photos around um, where do you mask and how much, right? The opacity, that sort of thing. Um, don't pay so much attention to my result. You may or may not like it and that's okay. Um, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing and explain why. So there's a more balanced light kind of photo, which is really what I'm going for. So if I take the original, too bright across some of the top of the grass, too bright in the sky, and now much more balanced. And I think um, it, looks, it looks a lot better. I think it looks pretty good. That looks like a good single exposure to me. And I think that's why, uh, not think, but that is why people generally would blend exposures uh, or do an exposure blend because they wanna try to get the best looking single exposure they can. And a lot of times you just can't get that in a single exposure, so you blend them together. Now, me being me, I'm not really happy with that sky. And so this is where I'm gonna go get another layer and continue my blending. So plus, add new image layer. I'm gonna get this sunset sky image. And now it's gonna drop on top of that. Now there are some things I like about this sky, uh, but they, they don't all fit on the photo. If you look at it, like some of these orange clouds I think will look kind of good in this photo. But if you look at where they are, those orange clouds are right here. And so there's a way to fix that. Let me turn that back on. And that is called the free transform tool. I'm gonna get free transform. Also what I like to call the squisher. So um, I'm just gonna squish this photo and I'm gonna take this sky and I'm gonna line it up with about with the horizon-ish. That gets these clouds and the pink ones up top, uh, but these orange ones in basically what I consider the right place. So I'm gonna say done and now my photo looks stupid. And you're like, Jim, you're, you're that looks terrible. What are you doing? So, well, I'm gonna do some more brush masking. So I'm gonna grab the brush. If I can get it to work, there you go. Brush and um, I'm at paint and I'm at an opacity of 39. 
I'm gonna go, let's say 50. Okay, I'm gonna increase the size of my brush a tiny bit, and I'm just gonna start masking that into this photo. I'm careful to kind of go over that sun, and here we go. We're just kind of blending that together, and there we go, I'm done. I think that looks kind of legit. Um, there's the before, and there's the after. Now, I've got some, um, I don't know what you call it, but like where you get a glare off, uh, you know, I'm shooting straight into the sun, so I got a little bit of a glare over there. You can see it pretty well in this uh, uh, original exposure. I like the sun rays, those are natural. As you've seen, I haven't added them, um, although you could do that in Luminar. Um, but there we go, that's kind of where we are, but it's not totally legit, so I'm gonna take this opacity down as well. I'm gonna do something about like uh, 70. I think that looks pretty good. That looks like a sky that may actually belong in the photo. So blended it in at low uh, opacity and then took the opacity down a little bit further. I think it looks pretty good. So that's a blended exposure. That's that's kind of the that's the main work to go from there to there. I'm not done with the photo, of course. I'm going to go add filters, and this is where I add a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to go into the the looks or what I, I still call presets. But I've got a preset or looks pack called Cityscapes that I made a long time ago. I'm in my Cityscapes preset pack and I'm looking for one called Million Dollar View. Where is it? Oh, Million Dollar View. They're alphabetical, so I should be able to find it kind of easily if I'm paying attention. And there we go, added that, probably a little too heavy handed, so I'm gonna take that down. Let's go to about 75. I think that looks pretty good, my friends. I mean, I, I, I'm biased because it's my photo, but I think my blend is looking pretty good. I think that that um, addition of the preset really kind of helps sell it. There's a couple things I would do. I'm gonna increase the um, exposure in the top. So I've got this top and bottom lighting filter. I'm gonna increase that a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, and then there's a couple more adjustments I wanna do. I'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer to do that. I'm gonna get color balance. I'm gonna get tone and I'm gonna get image radiance and Orton effect. So color balance, this is me just kinda of having fun. I'm gonna go a little bit to the left with shadows towards cyan and toward uh, blue uh, there. Uh, Midtones, I've got some notes I should probably look at. Um, here we go, I'm gonna go to about 10 here on midtones towards kind of the red. All I'm doing is accentuating the kind of sunset look, if you will. This is not a tutorial on color balance. I got gobs of videos about that if you want to take a look. Uh, and then in the highlights, I'm going to go to about 14 and negative 14. I'm warming up the photo, creating that sunset vibe. Uh, I'm going to add a little contrast in the tone filter, bump up the smart tone a little bit so I don't lose um, too much in the shadow when I added contrast. And then it's a, it's a slight bump in image radiance just to give it a little bit of mood and a slight bump in Orton as well to give it a little bit of mood. And then I'm gonna come back to Smart Tone and bump that a little bit more. When you add Image Radiance and Orton, they create a higher contrast and those shadows get a little moodier or darker. Hence, I keep going back to Smart Tone to bring them up. And, and I think I'm about done. Um, I don't know, maybe I feel like I should straighten that photo. It's a, it's a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna do something about like, uh, about like that, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna say done, but I'm done, my friends. That's a before and after. I mean, it's a massive difference. Um, it was a lot of masking and frankly, a lot of fun. I just like doing this stuff. There's the before, there's the after. Base image with some nice parts of it. I really like the sand in the bottom left corner. I like some of the grass. Um, I added a new image layer to at a lower opacity, mask in the top for the sky and then even lower opacity and mask in some of the grass. So I kind of blended the grass together and blended the sky together. And then I added a new sky, painted it in at a lower opacity and then lowered the opacity even further. Then it was an adjustment layer with a preset or a look at a reduced opacity. And then it was a final touch up layer to add a few filters just to do some tweaks. And I think I got a nice looking image, you know, especially considering I started with that I ended with that, and that's how I do exposure blends with masks and brushes and filters and looks and different opacities and all that stuff in Luminar. It's actually pretty easy, even though I may call this an advanced exposure blend. It's advanced because I'm messing with different masks and different opacities and things like that. 
but the actual work, it's not hard. Um, it's, it's advanced compared to the other one where I just took a, a gradient mask, dropped in a new image, and blended them together. This one's a bit more involved, but it was a lot of fun. One more time, there's the before, there's the after. That's how I did it, my friends. I hope it helps. Uh, love for you to leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, like, and uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Hope you have a great day. Take care and adios.